I'm using Game Lab on Code.org to create uh, a game where an airplane flies around using a combination of the keyboard and the mouse at the same time. So the mouse is going to determine the direction that the airplane flies. So it's always going to point at the mouse. And then I'm going to use the space bar for like thrusters in order to propel the plane in the direction of the mouse. The first thing I've done is just selected one of the prefabricated airplanes from code.org. And then I've created a sprite and, and connected it to that image. Well, I think I've connected it to that image. Let me check. Okay. And then I shrunk it a little bit and just drew it on the screen in the draw loop. So this is what I have. Uh, actually, let's get rid of this one and let's just keep it big for now. All right. So the first thing I want to do is point him in the direction of my mouse so that when my mouse is over here, the plane will follow by looking at it. So inside of sprites, I need to get sprite.point to direction. And here it is, uh, sprite.point to. My sprite is the plane, and now the direction. Um, we want to actually put in mouse.x and world mouse.y. So it's always going to be pointing at the plane. And if I run this, you can see that it's moving as I move my mouse. But we're seeing all the planes that it drew before I moved my mouse. You can see that yellow going around the edges. So we need to add a background to cover up all the old ones. Uh, let's try again. So now it's moving, but you can see that it's following. Uh, it looks as though this wing of the plane is following my mouse and not actually the front of the plane. So to fix that, uh, what we want to do is come over here to the animation tab and we want to flip this airplane. So the right wing is what I'm currently following, so I need this tip to go here. Uh, there is a flipping tool right here, and watch what happens when I flip it. Because this space is wider than it is tall, the process of flipping uh, cuts off my wings, and I get a shortened, dinky plane. So I'm going to control Z a few times and go back to the original. And what I need to do is uh, make this canvas larger. So I'm going to come over here to the purple, and I want to increase the height. So I'm going to make this maybe 150. And click resize. Make sure these two are not checked. That gives us more space so that now when we flip, we have the whole plane flipping. Once you get it pointed to the right, go ahead and crop off all the extra space like that. And we should be in business. So now when we run, uh, notice the plane is always pointed at my mouse. That's a pretty good start. So the next thing we need to do is um, move the plane towards my mouse. And we're going to do that with the space key. So I'll first grab an if, stick that in inside the draw loop, and we're going to say key down. Oh, that messed up. Let's try again. Key down, space. OK, so if the space bar is pressed, we need to move it. But which direction do we need to move? Uh, that's kind of the tricky part. So uh, the first thing we need to determine is where my mouse is before we move. So we're going to grab another if, and I'll show you how to do this. If uh, world.mousex is greater than the plane's x, meaning if my mouse is over here, then we want its x velocity to be positive. So uh, I'm actually going to use the counter pattern here and say plane.x equals plane.x plus maybe 3. So let's try it out. So it doesn't check this inside if until I press the space bar. So if I press the space bar here, nothing happens. And here, nothing happens. But if my mouse goes beyond the plane, he should start moving in this general direction. OK? Um, so let's do the opposite. And let's say if the, the x value of the mouse is less than the plane, then we want it to go left. So I change to a less than and I change to a minus right here. But otherwise, these two ifs are the same. That means if I press space here, I'm going to go left. And if I press space here, I'm going to go right. 
So we have the horizontal axis taken care of, but up and down is still not working. So let's copy these two again and change all the x's to y's. Control C, Control V, and now I'm going to switch to text mode. And let's see, we need to leave the first two ifs alone, and we need to change all the x's to y's in the second one. And once I get all these done, I'll, I'll give you space to pause and sort of study what you've got here. Notice that the world dot mouse x and y have to be capital, but all the other ones are lowercase. Okay, that should do it. Now let's try it out. Yeah, so this would be a good spot to pause if you want to study the code and make yours look the same. Okay, if you make something cool, please uh, leave the share link in the comments. Thanks.